Hey folks, Jason here. Thank you for those who participated in the survey. The uh, most popular response or request for some uh, input or perspective was uh, around the topic of my business is overwhelming me or I'm overwhelmed by all the things that I need to do to work on and build my business. So I want to speak to that today. Um, there's a system that's been tested and measured for 28 years. That's the system that I use in Action Coach, business coaching. And um, I tell you, before I was a business coach, I owned a couple of retail stores up in the mountains of North Carolina. We had uh, two stores, 25, 24 team members, somewhere around there. And um, you know, very well established business. And I tell you, um, business school, I found out, business school doesn't prepare you to be a great business owner. It, it does prepare you to be a great employee, but the skill set uh, and the identity that comes along with that area that you need to grow into to become a great business owner is, a, is an education in and of itself that um, a traditional education can touch on but doesn't really hit squarely. So, uh, having experienced that reality in the business that I owned, I, when I think back about um, the opportunity I might have had to, if I would have known about Action Coach Business Coaching at that time, I think about, uh, man, if I, would have, if I would have had someone to guide me and help me understand this system on how to approach things, man, I would have had so much more clarity. I would have gotten so much more accomplished in, in such a short amount of time. I owned that business for 11 years, and uh, it took me those 11 years to finally get burned out, and uh, I ended up uh, selling the business and moving on from that. But what I want for you is to not get burned out. You know, we've all heard the statistics. Um, four out of five businesses fail within five years. A statistic that you may not have heard is that four out of five of those remaining businesses fail in 10 years time, which means that 4% of businesses survive to 10 years and greater. So if you're a business that's been around 10 or more years, more power to you, that's great. Um, even if you have survived that or uh, thrived through that and grown through that, I guarantee you, there's still opportunity that's um, that's there that you've not that you've not realized, you've not seen, and there's opportunities for additional profit. There's a, there's opportunities for efficiency. There's opportunities for um, the the business to be designed to run without your presence. So, all those things being said, I want to share that system. Uh, in as short a amount of time as I can here, just kind of the highlights of it. I'm going to be throwing a lot at you because this system is pretty much all-encompassing of what's involved at a high level. And of course, the details are going to depend on uh, you and your situation, and that's where a conversation comes into play. So if you want to talk about how these things, how you would apply your situation um, or I'm sorry, apply this system to what you've got going on to get to the next step and, and create some clarity of focus, just reach out and we can talk about that. You know, there's no, no obligation or no pressure. It's just a conversation. So let me know if you're interested in having a chat about that and I can guide you through the thought process. So understanding how all these pieces fit together is the first step. And then we need to break it down and think about Okay, where am I in my business? Which areas along this uh, system, this path, this methodology, um, where are my weak areas? Where are my strengths? Um, so that we can understand and prioritize where is my most leveraged specific area of focus right now, right now being the next two or three weeks, that will make, all, make the most impact over the next two to three weeks and set myself up for what's what's after that. So we all know there's 837 things that we need to do in our business and for our business, but what really matters is what I need to do this week to take the business one step forward. 
And by understanding this system I'll show you, um, it'll help give you some clarity is, is my goal, give you some clarity on how everything fits together and where those leverage points might be. So like I said, reach out and we can have a conversation to talk about your specific, um, your specific business. Every business behaves a little differently and has different factors going on, but every business also that's built successfully will follow, follow this plan. Um, it's either going to take you a long time to get there or it's going to take you a short amount of time to get there. And it's my goal to help you avoid as much trial and error as possible by following this methodology and uh, prioritizing the right uh, leverage points. So let me switch cameras here and we will go to the desk and talk about what we call the six steps. This is the six steps to build something pretty awesome. Uh, what we're actually working to build with this is, uh, let me get a different pen here. Our goal is to build a commercial, profitable enterprise that works without you. So that's our goal in building this thing. It doesn't mean that we're going to build something that we uh, don't work in. It means that we're going to build something so that does not require us to be there for it to be successful. Okay. So the six steps, let me uh, give myself some room here to draw this out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So the six steps to accomplish this include mastery. And this is our foundation. Niche, which is really marketing and sales activity in the business. We've got leverage, which is where we're building systems in the business. We've got team. This is where, you know, you're going to have team in other, uh, other time frames of the business. We're not going to wait till we get here to add team. What this is really speaking to is um, when we begin to build out the organizational structure of the business from a team perspective. Then we've got synergy, and step five, and then freedom. Okay, so now let me uh, articulate. Again, this is, going to be at a, this is going to be at a high level. This is not going to be in great detail because I want to be um, as short as possible on this on this video. But I've got videos. If you're interested, just reach out that explain this in detail. There's about an hour and a half or hour and 45 minute version of reviewing all the nitty and gritty that happens in these different steps. But I'm just going to do a high level uh, version of it here. So this is called the six steps. action coach so let's see here in mastery we've got four areas of focus we've got finances understanding our financial reports our P&L our balance sheet have you ever created a cash flow forecast for your business I tell you there's uh, several businesses that are clients of mine um, one of which I remember uh, they've been in business 35 37 years and for the first time last year when we started working together, we created their first cash flow forecast in their in their stores or their uh, their business's history, rather. So that's something incredibly powerful because that's what helps us look forward in the business. Our P and L, our balance sheet, this is all reporting history. What we want to do is use that history for a little bit of a benchmark, but really what matters is what's happening right now and moving forward, and that's where the cash flow forecast comes into play. Let's see, so finances, um, destination. Destination is our vision, mission, and culture. Where are we going? 
how are we going to get there and what are the rules along the way then we've got delivery mastery and this is all about consistency and quality of how we deliver our product or service in our business and then there's time mastery and I'll tell you it doesn't matter if it's a two hundred thousand dollar business I'm working with or a twenty million dollar business I'm working with this is the determining factor of success or a lack thereof this is so incredibly important and for those of you that may have seen I, I uh, before I did a video about uh, time which is really a, a, ma a matter of us managing our focus and attention on a daily basis this is where all the magic happens and that's why coaching frankly that's why coaching is so important holding our clients accountable on a weekly basis or a twice a month basis whatever the program is they're in holding our clients focus and attention accountable consistently so that they are managing their time really effectively that's where all the magic happens so that we can focus on these other areas in the six steps along the way this is this is the most critical leverage point in the entire system is how you manage your time because the fact is we've all got the same 24 hours right so how are you going to use your 24 hours that's the kicker so a niche this is where we're focused on marketing and sales this is where we want to think about our USP this is a marketing term if you're not familiar or an acronym it stands for unique selling proposition what makes us unique to our marketplace why would someone buy from us instead of a competitor what is your guarantee you know usually we think about a guarantee in terms of how can I protect myself from when something goes poorly with a customer so that's a very reactionary way to think about a guarantee however there are ways we can get creative and leverage our guarantee into our marketing so that we're using our guarantee forward to attract new business and that's a really key area of opportunity for us let's see um, the five ways when it comes to profit there is nothing more important in your business than to understand the five ways and to measure the five ways there is nothing more impactful that you can that you can focus on and I like to put in here as well our uh, target market most uh, most business owners that I speak with I ask them who's your target market like I oh I've been doing business for a while I know who my market is okay great so give me three or four characteristics of what that target market looks like and that's usually pretty easy for them to do as well but when I'm really digging in with a client to define that properly which most business owners have not done which is why their marketing fails if you haven't defined this target market properly then how are you ever going to have effective marketing okay so that'll be something I would expand in a different video but suffice it to say when I ask a business owner okay you can give me three or four uh, characteristics of this target market can you give me 20 what are 20 characteristics of this target market your ideal A plus customers lifestyle tell me the story of who this person is and that's a lot more difficult to do it takes it takes some thought it takes some digging it takes some reflection it takes some critical thinking but once we've done that really well for a target market that we're uh, pursuing now it gives so much more clarity to our marketing effort so that when we invest in our marketing it actually goes somewhere it creates a positive ROI which is obviously what we desire so next area of focus is uh, leverage and there's four areas of leverage in business one is testing and measuring you can't manage effectively what hasn't first been measured so if you desire to get different results in an area of your business in any area of your business you've got to start by measuring it so that you can test it and manage better results out of that area 
There's systems and technology. This is another great area to add systems and leverage in your business. There's people and education. Yeah, a great quote here is, um, well, what if I what if I educate my people and, and they end up leaving for another opportunity? Well, it's either that or you educate you uh, choose not to educate them and you have a bunch of uneducated people working for you. Those are your two options there, right? So what we want to do, of course, is educate our team, train our team, and continue to help them to grow and also develop a culture and an environment that they would never want to leave. So that's the magic in keeping, keeping your team around, retaining your team over time, is to create an environment, a culture, that you know they would be crazy to ever leave. Um, but yeah, we do want to... There's, there's great leverage in educating our people, in other words. And what's the fourth one? It's uh, delivery and distribution. So how can we create leverage and get creative in the way we're delivering or distrib distributing our products or services to the marketplace? This, this is an area where we can have some great creative thought and have some incredible leverage depending on the business model and the industry. So then we get to team. And when we look at team, we're thinking about our organizational chart. When you, when you finish your business, and first of all, when do you want your business to be finished from a uh, build-out standpoint? When you think about your, your business down the road, at, what does it look like when it's done? Okay? So let's, think about, let's just say that it's five years from now. So what does your organizational chart in your business look like five years from now? You need to build that out. And then the next thing to do is build out right next to it, what does the business organizational chart look like today? Okay, and now we can start thinking about the steps it's going to take to build towards this organizational chart along the way. We also think about positional contracts here and in our positional contracts we've got to have KPIs. KPI stands for key performance indicators or we like to also refer to it as key profit indicators. You know, what are the things that we want to keep up with on a daily or weekly basis that indicate we are moving in the right direction towards our goals? And fourthly, let's see, organizational chart. Oh, this is where we are going to think about Installing a GM or a uh, maybe it's an ops manager, whatever you want to call this role, but in, install someone into a role in your organizational chart that is running the business for you. That's a pretty powerful spot to be in. When we get to synergy, we're thinking about how can we replicate or duplicate or further scale or maybe franchise our business. You know, once we've built a business that's running like a well-oiled machine in steps one through four, now it's time to think about how we grow that. And there's several different ways we can approach that, right? And when we get to freedom, we're really thinking about um, investments with the cash flow that's happening through the business and uh, legacy wealth building. So, bringing it back to the definition that we're after in business, commercial profitable enterprise that works without you, mastery is where we create a commercial enterprise. Niche our marketing and sales, this is where we make that commercial enterprise profitable. Leverage is where we install systems so that the business works well. And when we organize the team effectively, our business now works without us. This is how we, this is how we accomplish this definition in our business. 
So those of you that shared that you're overwhelmed by the thought or all the tasks involved or required in in considering how you're going to build your business over time, that is a proven approach and order and thought process. Uh, and I say proven. This is 28 years in the making. It's been used for 28 years. This is used in 84 countries around the world. And every week, there are 15,000 businesses around the world being coached by an action coach with this system. Okay? So this is, this is not new. You can find all this information in books. You know, all of the information I'm talking about here, you've heard bits and pieces uh, and read articles and seen videos on it. But putting it together into a cohesive thought process this is the most effective way to approach building a business. So how does that apply to you and your business? Again, that requires a conversation because obviously there's a whole lot of dynamics involved with uh, what we're talking about with that six-step system um, and approach. So what we've got to do is talk about where you are with your business, grade yourself, and I've, I've actually got a uh, one-page tool that you can kind of go through and think through this six steps process. Um, it's a one-page document that you can go through and grade yourself on every one of these areas and think about, think critically about, be honest with yourself, right? Think critically about where you are in each of these areas. And I tell you, filling that out ahead of time and um, bringing that to a conversation for us to talk about. So what should I do first? What should I do second? How does that position for six months from now? How does that position for a year, year and a half, two years from now? We can talk about all those things. When it comes to planning forward in business, creating cash flow projections, creating plans for very uh, articulate, articulately thought out growth plans, I'm a geek when it comes to that stuff. So I really like to dig in and, and help you figure that out. So like I said, just reach out and we can have a conversation about that. But I hope that helps to clean up some of the thought process a little bit um, of the overwhelm factor. You know, this is how all those pieces are intended to fit together most efficiently. So let's talk about what it's going to take to help you focus on the things that matter the most right now that will make the most impact in the shortest amount of time. We've got to start by thinking about our profitability. If that's a problem, we need to start with profit, period. We don't need to be working on company culture when profit's an issue. We need to figure out the profit first, and then that gives us the bandwidth and energy to work on all the other aspects of the business, okay? So, like I said, reach out and we can uh, have a conversation about that. But I hope this was helpful. If you've got any comments, please uh, leave them in the um chat or comments below the post wherever you find this and i look forward to talking to you soon cheers